Daytona Beach. All the way back will be the captain for FC. Starting on the field for Daytona SC, Lee Flowers, Adam Abdullawi, Eric Gore for Daytona. He got his second goal of the season on a penalty kick late in the second half against Arbrecht, and he'll have to send it back out towards midfield. Looking back in the last five games for Daytona, all the way back on May 20th, was their last win before they got the win against Weston, as Daytona now is able to steal Weston and a 3-1 victory at home against Lakeland. This ball sent all the way into the attacking third. Four. A good amount of high-scoring games for FC Miami. I just mentioned that 2-4 loss against the Villages and then a fourth third and deal with a penalty, with a uh, corner kick, excuse me, coming into the box through the air, bounces in towards Harbrecht, cleared out but not out of danger, finally all the way out and into midfield for FC Miami to handle control here coming into the ninth minute of play. FC Miami still threatening at the top of the box, comes in, Harbrecht will hang on to that one and quickly play it out to the left side, but too far away from Daytona, FC Miami brings it back the other way on the transit half. Only one first half goal in the seven games that they have participated in. However, they're a good finishing team. They've got four second half goals. And if you look at FC Miami on the other side of things, in goals their four minute stretch where they had trouble getting out of their defensive third, FC Miami with a good amount of possession so far, and they'll send this one all the way through towards the end line, right in on Harb's defensive back of Uwad. Back for Trimmingham. Right defender will wear that captain sleeve on the left arm, sends it all the way to the left line, send it towards midfield with the left foot. Doesn't find, got a little bit too much of the Miami forward than the... The only statistics on the score sheet so, so far shows a yellow card for Miami working in their defensive half to get the ball out. Good pressure from Daytona, keeping them back, or play from behind, rather. This one for O'Sullivan, intercepted by Miami, and they will send it back. Miami defense just playing catch with it now, Trimmingham on that right side send it back towards the defensive half of Miami, but Miami will be able to settle it down and work 24th minute of play. 1-0 lead for FC Miami City off the foot of Igor Martins, who was able to beat Harbrecht on a loose ball. Be save for Harbrecht to have to save. Comes in behind the defenders, left side goes off the All the way back for Uwad at the top of his own box. He'll send it to the right side for Trimmingham. Trimmingham is forced out of play by Duamena, but it did to settle that down for Abdullawi, who sends it back up the line for Abdullawi, or excuse me, for Duamena. But again, a little bit too fancy and instead turns the ball over to Miami in the 30. Miami, as I mentioned earlier, a strong first half defensive team. Only two goals given up in the first half. Definitely more given up in the second half for Zamor. Zamor down the line, looking for Senior, comes into the box. Senior trying to get a handle on it, and instead it is... Played in the battle right at midfield. Instead, FC Miami will send it back to Trimmingham. Or so back to Trimmingham. Trimmingham down that right side, top of the box. Good play from Coombs. Coombs has that one stolen away. Miami back in towards the top of the box. Finally steered out of trouble by Daytona. Brought right back in by Trimmingham. He senses blood in the water, wants to keep the offensive pressure up. Centering pass stays on the turf and cleared out by Jackson. Still under possession of Miami. Almost stolen away by Daytona. Play continues for Trimmingham. Trimmingham back to the left sideline for Gill. 43rd minute of play. Centering ball gets deflected to the left side. No one is home. 
So this one will have time to go out. It takes a huge hop off the turf, and now Senior sends it in, and it was not hard. Fajardo will move it all the way back to Trimmingham. Trimmingham was looking for Martins down. McCauley with the right foot will send it down the line looking for Dwamena. Trimmingham comes in to intercept. Goes all the way back to his own corner. Dwamena, he's held down on the play. And it's that nearly went in the back of his net. That had to be saved by Harbrick. There's another turnover that will spring a trade and deflected right back towards midfield by Daytona. O'Sullivan will move it to the left side. Had to be. Almost in on the third man. Instead, it goes out of play, and Miami will have a throw in. And Miami is looking for a two-man sub. Fifth minute of play. 20 minutes gone here in half number two. One one. Looking to get it under control all the way back in their defensive half now. Trimmingham sends it towards the end line and offside play ended here in the 70th minute. And FC Miami knows that they want to get some offensive pressure going while Daytona's shorthanded. Trimmingham changing the angle of attack to them and ready to take place. Craigton Charlton at the next stoppage will come in for Dayton. Curling towards the goal line, deflected off of a Miami player towards the end line, comes back into the top of the box. Shot gets deflected away by Daytona out of trouble. Will change the angle of attack to the right side of the field. Trimmingham back. They're going to say that Donaciano had a little bit too much physicality getting under that landing spot. Able to get around the second man. To the right side for Abdullawi. Abdullawi with a crossing attempt comes in. There's three players in the box. Comes up top for O'Sullivan. Daytona's unable to get a shot on the sideline for Mary Juan. He'll send it into the box. Gets deflected a couple of times. Urso with the left foot will send it into the box. Goes through the air. Deflects wide of the goal and sent out by Dick in place. If Miami is able to pick up the three points, they will skyrocket themselves even farther into his left leg. He'll, he's able to pop back up before play is halted. So it will continue in the... In comes the free kick with the left foot. Comes into the box. Deflected. Harbrecht is there to send... No telling how much time the referee is willing to add to this tied match. Still a 1-1 tied game.